there's so much talent in this area, in this region, in West Virginia, and what's needed are sort of magnets for those people to come together in order to move forward, and I think that's what's great about Create West Virginia. It's just acted as a magnet for um, people who think on similar wavelengths to be in the same room and talk and make progress. I think that's what the Roof Raff has been. There's visual artists here and other performing artists and musicians, and it's just a real, a real nice community atmosphere amongst creative people. The area is, uh, I think they're quite proud of us, actually, very proud of us, what we're doing. I think it's an asset to downtown Bluefield and hopefully to cause a ripple in the pond, somebody's got to cast the first stone. But we're not the only venue in town, there's other things happening and we just want to showcase our people in our community. Well, ever since Gary Bowling and his crew have taken over that space in Bluefield, it has just been um, fantastic to get to know those people and see that we're all really on the same wavelength. You know, across Mercer County, um, there's been this imaginary, you know, separation between the two areas, and it's just so silly. And the, you know, the young people um, and the artist community, I think that a lot of those people just um, don't really live in that sort of world of separation. So it's been really cool just to get to know those guys and to, um, to talk about the possibilities for the future. And uh, their space is amazing. In our House of Art, we uh, showcase different bands. Uh, we're doing open mic nights, uh, we're offering all kinds of classes, dance classes, we're going to be offering pottery classes, we're building like a Disney village on the third floor. We're going to have 13 working studios and shops, everything from pottery, watercolor, pencil drawing, and then we're going to have people that each actually will be teaching people how to play musical instruments, drums, guitars, everything. I've been working with young kids um, after school, doing sort of creative performance workshops with them and guiding them and finding their voice and helping them to um, creatively say what they, what they need to say. And this space here um, is kind of one-stop shopping for independent artists. They can come in here and do a live performance and get a multi-track live recording and become equipped with their CD covers, um, photos, uh, a whole press kit. It's for everybody of every age. If you're five or 105, it's going to be a safe environment. Just a real positive energy that's going out into the community. I know people, um, even the people who choose not to participate, um, it's still in their field of awareness. You know, a lot of people that live or have lived in this neighborhood for years and haven't really seen much change, they're inspired by what's going on here in our space. And um, we're all very friendly people, and uh, we all make a point of trying to include you know, whoever wants to be included. It's just a group of us. We feel like it's an attitude. Uh, we're trying to make a difference. Uh, the majority of us are homegrown West Virginians. And at my age, I think it's my last hurrah, and I want to pay it forward. I want something for the younger people. I want to leave something behind, because I tell everybody we're not taking anything with us. So I think in the last days, what you do is important what you leave behind for the younger generation.